Hey everybody out there in YouTube land. This is Jay's from Jay's Mini Scale Garage coming at you. Now I got a couple little projects going on. Been a while since I've been on here. Been under the weather and trying to get some stuff finished. As a lot of people know, I started building this wagon here. Well, I ended up getting the body from a buddy of mine uh, for a regular Impala wagon. So we did some swap around. I got the body. Then I got uh, probably about three different kits into this one. Uh, I want to do something different. Everybody does the same old stuff. So here it is. I hope you guys like it. Bam. The Hillbilly Express. A little different. Got the roof cut off. Uh, let me see what I get here. My lining's not the best. I've been trying to rearrange my stuff in my little area here. As you look, it's got a built-in custom tire rack in the back, carpet, dash, steering wheel. Um... I cut the side panels out to be Chevy emblems. Uh, got a couple cases of beer in the back seat. And if you look right there in the console, right there, that's a can of spray paint. Oh, uh, well, I kind of see the top of it. Pretty well detailed. I mean, something different. Motor crawl the, the pin for all the chrome. Um, I had it painted yellow, but I wasn't really feeling the yellow. So then I got the seat belts put in it. Uh, let me move this away right here. There we go. So I got puffed out seat belts in it. What's Sorry about that, guys. I had technical difficulties. <laughs> uh, got the suspension from a GMC deserter kit. Uh, custom cut the exhaust. Custom weather the bottom. Um, it's got custom adjustable shocks that I built. Uh, you can kind of see them. Let me see if I can't get a wheel off. Oh, there we go. Here's the front ones. And the back ones are just like that, but they're just longer. I gotta glue that wheel back on. Or to glue it on. I ain't glued that one on yet, though. Um, but yeah, I want to do something a little different. Um, got the headlights done in blue. The grill done in blue. Let's see if we can see a little better. I said I apologize for the lighting. That's, I got a. Uh, there we go. Redoing my little photo booth and stuff. And then I got some I Rock mirrors or um, El Camino mirrors on it. I was watching uh, Mr. Mini Dreams and started wanting to do my hood hinges right. So I did one of his slides. Oops. A little stiff got paint on it and then up hold on a second here let me see if I can't get that to there we go just got a little bit of paint stuck on there and you see I got it out of all the wheel wells uh, it's got wires clear hoses um, I got a buddy of mine that's making me a sign that says Hillbilly Express in white. He mailed it out today, so I'm waiting for that to come in. Um, I was watching Mini Dreams too. He made these little bitty wire looms here out of aluminum can. I've been wanting to do it, so I figured I'd try it on this one. It turned out pretty slick. I'm going to start doing that from now on. Uh, it just gives you a little extra detail. And if you look at the hood hinges, are small, so I keep everything hid. Look nice. Uh, I ain't got the windows put in here. So it gives you a glass look there. I mean, the paint turned out nice. I didn't polish it or nothing because I didn't want it to look too, you know, new. 
Everything's trimmed in silver or chrome. You see the gauges are done. Like I said, it's got a. I think the paint job turned out really slick. That's one of them I'm doing. I just finished. I'm just waiting for the thing to come in for the uh, windshield. Now, here's a Johan Cutlass I've been building. <clears throat> Back up here. The tail is kind of cramped. There we go. Got it painted with testers. It's got two little dimples right here. I'm not really worried about that. I just want to get it built and put it on the shelf. I got some 30 or 23 inch Hearst wheels coming from Steve Zimmerman. And then I started on the Pepsi Chevelle, but if you look, I got rid of the big wheel wells. I'm actually turning this one into a stock one. Put extra styrene around the windows. It's not looking too hateful. And then of course, you know, I got my little panel. I got to finish it up. It's done a root beer. I got the glitter clear today. So I'm going to glitter it out. And then I got a cutlass I'm working on. As you see, I started some little body work on it. Uh, got the trunk cut out, trunk floor started on it. I took the trunk gas tank out of it. I'm going to put a fuel cell in it. Um, get a little bit more to do on that one, but other than that. Oh, I'm building me a mystery machine, Scooby Doo mystery machine. For my uh, case of cars up here, which I'll have a video on that one later. Uh, but yeah, man, I hope you guys like it. Um, I like the way it turned out. Something different. And it's not just slapped together, so it's all kind of, you know. Uh, a little different. Oh, I got some air horns. Matter of fact, they're right here. Yeah, I'm gonna paint detail them and put them in there. I'm gonna put them right here. Right here in front of that grill. Sorry about my old fat fingers. I'm gonna put them uh, probably right here in front of that radiator and intercooler. Run me a couple airlines in there, kind of dummy them in there. Uh, well, guys, that's it. Uh, as soon as I learn how to put some pictures in there, man, I'll put some, you know. Still shots in there. Um, and there'll be more to come. So I got a couple more I'm doing. I'm going to try to get some finished up this weekend. Uh, and move on to the next ones. So, alright guys. Well, this is Jay from Jay's Mini Scale Garage. I'm coming at you. You guys have a good weekend. And God bless you. I'm out.